So before doing anything in this video, first of all, I'm going to save this scene. Okay. So inside assets folder, I'm going to right click, create new folder, and I'm going to name this folder scenes, inside which we're going to save all of our scenes. So now click on this scenes folder and now we are here. So I'm going to go to file and save scene or save scene as. So you can press any of these and save your scene. So I'm going to go inside this scenes folder and name this scene level 1 and click on save. So as you can see now our scene has been saved inside this scenes folder named level 1. Okay. So now whatever we have done if I run this. So we have this. We can move it left and right but one problem that we have still is this. If we just press left and as you can see it goes beyond our boundaries. It goes just beyond our boundaries on the left and right. So it goes out of our screen. But we never want our paddle to go out of our boundaries. So we have to restrict it so that it doesn't go beyond that. Okay. So if we want to do that, we have to first of all see how much we want it to move on the left and right. So if I select the paddle and if I select this move tool, as you can see here on the transform position, you can check out the X position of the paddle. Now I can move it to the extreme left, how much I want it to move. Now I want it my paddle to move to this position at maximum. I won't want it to move beyond this. Okay. So as you can see here, its position is around 2.34 or it's around 2.4. So we can keep it 2.4. Okay. So we want it to move to minus 2.4 at the left. So the same way we should move it to plus 2.4 on the right. Okay. So if I just make it plus 2.4 as you can see it is on the extreme right. So on the left and right direction we want to move it to 2.4 negative and 2.4 positive at maximum. So we need to restrict it within this position. We want it to move within this position only. We don't want to move beyond that. Okay. So if we want to do that then we have to say we have to write some code in our scripts which will just constraint or which will just limit the movement within this location. So here I'm going to create a new variable public float max x and this max x variable will store the maximum value up to which we want it to move we want to move our paddle in the left and right direction. Okay. So now if I click on paddle red and come to the script, as you can see now we have this max x slot. So here we want to write the maximum value, which is 2.4. So we want to move our paddle at maximum to 2.4 in left and right. Okay. So now we need to restrict the movement within this. So as you can see inside update function, we are doing all these tasks. That is, we are actually moving it. Now, at the end of this update function, we want to restrict the movement. Now to restrict any value, we have a special function called mathf.clamp in Unity. This mathf.clamp will clamp or limit any value limit any value of a variable within a minimum and a maximum value. Okay. So let us write mathf dot, oops, not this one, just write mathf dot clamp. And as you can see, it takes three values. For the first value, it takes which value we want to limit. And for the second and third value, it takes the minimum value and the maximum value of that. Okay. So here, what do we want to limit? Before we want to limit anything, first of all, we need to get the value because right now we don't know where the paddle is on our screen. 
So if we want to get the value of paddle, then we need to create a vector to pose variable which is for position and inside that we can uh, store transform dot position this transform dot position is the current position of the paddle okay so if i select this paddle right as you can see inside transform we have this position so this transform dot position will return us the current position of the paddle by which we can know where the paddle is currently okay so we are storing that inside this vector 2 variable which is position okay let's make it vector 3 since transform is a vector 3 component now inside math.clamp what I can do is I can limit the value of pose dot x which is the x component of the position since we want to move the paddle in the left and right direction and we want to limit the value in the left and right direction that is x direction so that is why we want to limit the value in the x direction so pose.x and what is the minimum value that is minus max x and what is the maximum value that is positive max x okay so we want to limit we want to clamp the value of x position to minus max x and plus max x and then we want to store that inside pose dot x okay simple so we are restricting or limiting the value of position dot x and then we are returning that limited value to position dot x and finally we have to store this temporary value which is position dot x again inside our original position otherwise it won't work okay so at the last line we need to write transform dot position equals pose so we are basically doing this we are creating a temporary vector 3 variable named pose inside that we are storing our position we are limiting it and then we are storing the limited value again inside the position okay so now if I go and run this scene now as you can see if I try to move beyond that I can't move beyond that even if I press my arrow key again and again I can't move beyond that because we are limiting it to max value as you can see here the value of x is minus 2.4 which we have given here max x and if we go to the extreme right as you can see it is 2.4 and it cannot go beyond that because we have clamped that value by using this function okay so this is how we can clamp the position of the paddle to move it within our boundaries.